Waves, together with Spike Stent, Mike Hedges, and Yoad Nivo, is proud to present the MLS Nonlinear Summer. Three legendary consoles in one powerful plug-in. Featuring Spike Stent's SSL 4000G, the EMI 12345 Mark IV, owned by Mike Hedges and heard on such timeless recordings as Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon, and Yoad Nevo's customized Neve 5116. Hi, I'm Spike Stent. I'm a mixer, producer. This board is very special. It's called the Magic Console to me. It's a SSL 4000G. Artists that I've worked on using this console has been Madonna, Bjork, Coldplay, Oasis, Keen, U2, Lady Gaga, Florence and the Machine, countless. <laughs> I've forgotten, there's too many. <laughs> I call it the Magic Console because it's not like any other sort of G that I've ever worked on. There's something very different about the sound of it, the texture of it, and every time I go to different studios when I don't have it with me, um, I always fight to find that sound. It never feels the same anywhere else. And, you know, I've worked on this console since 1989. It was first installed in Olympic. And I loved it so much that when I built the mix suite with EMI Olympic, I bought the console off of them and we moved it downstairs. One thing about this console that I, I love is not only the clarity of the sound of the center section and summing, but the fact that it gives me a depth. When I put things through this console, I can feel the depth, like, you know, I can see it, and then when I'm trying to balance a track, you know, it, it really helps. You know, most, a lot of the channels sound different to each other, and there's slight differences, but overall, with all those slight differences of the channels, it some, somehow creates something special. But the, one of the main overriding things I love about this console is the way it clips, and the way it distorts each channel, and I love that. The sound of the plugin sounds really close to this console. They went deep on this. The great thing about it is the way that you've got the individual channel coloration, but then you've got the overall summing mix sound as well that it does. And the fact you can control the different groups within it, play around with a mic switch button, that'll be very exciting for everyone. Hello, I'm Mike Hedges, and this is the star of the show. EMI TG12345 Mark IV, console with the longest, most complicated name ever made, and also one of the best sounding consoles ever made. I bought a console from Mark II from Abbey Road in 1984, and uh, started using the Mark II, realised it was going to need some spare parts, so I actually asked Abbey Road, where I was working at the time, if there were any spare parts available, and they said there's a pile of them in the garage down the back of the studio, so we went um, to the garage, the back of the studios, and there was this console in pieces. So only when I got it home and started putting all the bits together like a giant jigsaw puzzle, I realised that I actually had the Mark IV console that recorded Dark Side of the Moon, amongst other things. And I've been using it ever since. The sound of this console is warm. It's a warm sounding console. There. As, as warm as you can probably get in any console ever made. Uh, and that's the beauty of it. Definitely has a certain magic, a certain inspiration to us as well. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. It sounds beautiful, and nearly every artist that has recorded with it and played through it with their instruments has been inspired by it. It definitely inspires me, and it definitely inspires engineers that I've worked with that have sat down and used it. I mix with this console all the time because I find it gives me a major advantage. The three dimensional aspects you get out the harmonic distortion. Is a, it's glorious, a beautiful sound. It's quite well, once familiar to everybody. They've heard the sound of it many times before. I think it's a type of nostalgia and a beauty to it that is just, you do not get with modern equipment. It's not completely transparent and it's not completely hi-fi in the technical word of hi-fi, but it does add a special beauty to things that I don't think any other console has done and still doesn't do to the state. The console sounds as it looks, it's beautiful, it's old and beautiful and it sounds fantastic. The one thing it's a pity that waves aren't able to model on it, which is a bit sad, is the fact it smells fantastic as well.
This is a custom Neve desk which is made out of two classic Neve desks from the early 80s. It has a very, very big sound, but it's also very clean. Unlike other analog desks that can sound a little bit muddy at times, I like the sharpness and the headroom that this desk has, and it applies very well to all sorts of music styles. Mixing in the box can sound sometimes too clean and too sterile. Just running audio through the desk makes everything sound beautiful, whether it's the drums, the vocals, the guitar. It just sounds amazing on everything, really. I'm so used to the sound of this desk by now that um, when I mix elsewhere, I really miss it. I really love the way it sounds. It just sounds sweet. The Waves plugin is an amazing achievement because it captures the essence of this desk and it sounds very similar and very close to the real thing. But also it has some other benefits like the ability to have other types of desks on different channels. With the Waves plugin we manage to model each channel with its unique sound and that makes an amazing uh, difference. Waves modeled over 100 individual channels in all, capturing the unique color, character, and behavior of each and every input and summing bus amp. Waves NLS, classic console sound.